everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use the crop tool, the quick transform and the transform tool. So you can see here that I've just made my page a little bit small so we can see all the edges. For me, I just use my touch screen to, to resize that. Uh, there's a multiple ways you can do that. Check out one of my other tutorials to give you more on that. Um, all right, so I'm going to start off with the crop tool. What the crop tool allows us to do is you can see here I've got the width and the height. So currently my document is 1920 by 1956 pixels, PX is pixels, um, wide and high. You can even change those um, if you want, and that's in another tutorial. All right, so what this means, I can then click in one corner and you'll see that my width and height changes depending on how much of my page is selected. So let's say I wanted that selection there. You'll see that my page or my white part of my page is now showing this and everything that I'm wanting to cut out is now in a dark gray. To confirm this, you can either go um, cancel or yes, cool, make that change and you'll see that that change. You can also press the enter if you're happy with that uh, selection. Control Z to undo. All right, so that's your crop tool. So that'll allow you to change the size of your document really quickly. All right, which brings us to our quick transform. Now for me to use this, I'm just gonna quickly pop down a uh, little shape, a little color shape that you can see me do this little tool on. Right. So the very first one here is a rectangle select tool. So I'm just gonna collect this part here and I can then move it up. This move toggle um, automatically shows up as soon as you make that selection, okay? This is really good if you just wanna get in, do something really quick. Um, if you're wanting to be more precise, again, go back and use your select tool. And there's a tutorial um, that I've made that goes through those selections there. So this is your, your really quick, I want to take a section and I want to cut and I'm going to move. You'll also notice that this is all staying on the one layer. It's not creating a new layer for that selection. So it's going to stay on that selection, on that layer. Very important if you're normally used to using um, Photoshop and it creates a new layer when you do that. All right, which brings me to my lasso tool. So in terms of having, I can have a very clean uh, square or rectangle. With the uh, quick lasso, I can create my own quick little selection. Really good if you're doing things that are organic. Okay, same thing, my um, move toggle will automatically show up for that new selection. All right, again, D, uh, D select uh, is control D. Um, if you're wanting to deselect really quickly, okay. And then, of course, you've got your move the entire layer. Um, so you'll see that this is everything that I have on my layer. My toggle now comes up for me. Um, and basically, the toggle has um, four different things that you can use. So on your outer circle, you see I've got this blue and I've got four little triangles. That basically means that I can move my object anywhere on the page. Okay. This little one here with our two arrows, once that is highlighted in blue, I can then rotate my image and I can rotate 360 with that selection, okay? The selection in the middle when this is highlighted allows me to in, uh, reduce or increase the size, but keep it proportional so it's not gonna obscure the image, uh, which this one here will do. So this will stretch either going uh, thin or thick, and it will do the same thing going out to the sides. Uh, this tool here won't do both, so you need to click and change one and then go and click to do it in the opposite direction, okay? So just be really careful. If it's like a photograph, make sure that you use the um, full enlarge and reduce, not just the stretch option, okay? Once you're finished playing around with your move and your um, angles and, and enlargements, you just click on that little square there to get rid of your move toolbar, okay? And again, you can just click on that to bring it back out and continue playing around with it. Okay, which brings us to our transform button. Okay, now there are two options here that we can play around with. You'll, so you'll notice as soon as I bring this out, I've got four dots in the corner. And when I highlight on the sides or on the edges, they go green. So if I click on one of the edges, uh, on one of the corners, I can actually bring it in and enlarge it or reduce the size. Okay, I can even go up and down or side to side and I can basically do that in any direction all at once. If I click on the side where it's green, you'll notice that I can just um, thicken or thin in either direction, but I can't do both together. Okay, uh, if you bring your cursor to the side, you'll see that I knit my cursor is now two arrows. So move um, on top of the image. As soon as I come out, I can then rotate. Okay, so they're the options with your uh, your scale tool here. 
the distort tool here. I'm just going to quickly line this back up. All right. So for your distort, okay, you have the same option. So you can bring it down, but what it'll also allow you to do is shimmy to either side, and you can do the same thing here. You can basically freeform that in any direction. Okay. With your corners, you can now sort of change the perspective, make it look like it's coming forward or going back into the background. Okay. And in the middle, this is really important, this middle one will allow you to move your image inside that box um, as well. So you can really play around with distortion of your image. Uh, your X and tick here, of course, is no, I don't like what I've done, or yes, go ahead and make that change. Okay? So there you go. That's your, your options here with your crop, your quick transform, and your transform tools. Again, if you're wanting more control over those kind of things, head down to your selection options. All right, guys, have fun playing around with your images and making distortions.